Hey guys, my name is Sandra Salomon and this is... I'm Rotten Rebel. Yes, and we are going to rate some girls' night out fragrances. Ooh. So I have gone through my collection and I have chosen my most captivating fragrances. Mm. But because if even if you're out just having fun with your friends or if you're out maybe trying to hunt something down, you do want to smell captivating and good. Mm. So I have chosen those that I really, really like, that are captivating and that are sexy and kind of strong and projecting so you get noticed in the crowd. And also captivating. And, <laughs> and also captivating yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, and don't forget that they are captivating. And we are going yeah. to see if you think that they are captivating yeah. as well. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> without further ado, <laughs> let's, let's get do some started. captivating. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you said captivating a ton. Do you yeah. want to do that again? No. Okay, let's continue. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's check out some insanely captivating <laughs> fragrances for a girl's night out. Yes. Yes. So, Rotten Rebel, I would like to know if you think this one is captivating. Captivating! <laughs> and what, what you have here is Midnight Romance from Ralph Lauren. And I do know that you really, really like Tender Romance. Yeah. I think both of these are are extremely likable uh, fragrances. Likeable. And I mean likable in the sense that they are <laughs> I think they are sort of mass appealing. Yes. Well, a lot of people are going to enjoy them. Yes. Uh, and if I'm not wrong, I believe I recommended both of them to you. Yes, you did. Um, and I feel that they are underrated. I don't yeah, think there's enough buzz out there. Uh, about uh, tender aromas and midnight aromas. I can't no. remember if there's any other aromas No, out there. I have to check that up. Mm. But both of tender aromas and midnight aromas are really, really good. Um, <clears throat> actually, tender aromas is my favorite out of these two, but I think that midnight aromas is better for a girl's, girl's night out mm -hmm. than tender aromas. Tender mm -hmm. aromas is more of a beautiful dating fragrance. Mm. This it's a bit floral, yeah. maybe a bit of musk, and then something that is a bit sweet. I'm not sure if it's fruity sweet. Yeah. Uh, do you have the notes I for this one? I do have the notes, so I'm going to pick them out. And what we have here is... In the top, raspberry, lychee mm. and bergamot. Yes, of course, some raspberry. Peony, freesia and jasmine sandback. Mm. Then we have iris, vanilla and ambroxan. Mm. So yeah, I mean, you can pick out the, the floral aspect of it. You have yeah. something sweet and you have a bit of fruitiness to it. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think this is, uh, this is, this is, yeah. Yes. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> why there's not enough hype about this one so this no. this one to me is it's not too floral even though it's floral so i believe it this is pretty well blended and even yeah. though there's a sweetness to it the sweetness is perfectly balanced against the other yeah and i do enjoy that they brought something fruity so it's fruity sweet yes um i think this is really nice and if you're gonna rate it from one to five from one to five at least at least three and a half okay maybe 3.75 yeah. uh, this is one of those that are it's i think it's beautiful and classy and a bit sexy but all in a sort of a subtle way yes it just smells good and i it guess it doesn't scream at you yeah. but it's really really good yeah so uh, this is something that uh, when uh, people around you are getting a whiff of it they're going to be like oh my uh, but it does it in a sort of a subtle way, so it's not a loud beast mode kind of fragrance. No, yes. Um, no, yes. <laughs> no, yes. No, yes. No, yes. Captivating, yes. No, no. yes. Yes, captivating. <laughs> uh, so let's move on to the next one. No, the, uh, you're not supposed to give raise. Uh, no, uh, okay. I think that the girls really want to know what uh, man thinks about uh, okay. this. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think this is... And the cool thing about this one is I, I think this is like a chameleon of a fragrance, i.e. if you, let's say you have a boyfriend and you are going out for girls night out. Yeah. This is going to be a subtle, I smell so good, 
but a sorry, I'm not available kind of fragrance. Ah, so if you are out hunting, this is not the one you no, should... No, but I said it was a chameleon. Ah. So it's going to be a shapeshifter. So if you are single and you are going out on a girl's night out, this is going to be like, I smell damn good. And if you are fine, I might be interested. Ah, so so I'm is... guessing that you are thinking like, if you go out and act like I'm taken with this one, you're going to smell like you're taken. No. But if you go out and be kind of... Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> A bit. So, so it's still going to have that sort of... It's going to adapt to you. And either way, you are going to smell classy and sexy, but in different kind of okay. way. I, I know that probably doesn't make sense no. or sounds weird, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, highly recommended. I if, love this one and I think you can... If anyone understands what he meant, yeah. please put it in the comments <laughs> yeah. so I can read them later. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I, I think it's hard to go wrong with this one. Yes, I agree. And we are moving on to the next one, which is Because It's You mm. from Emporio Armani. Mm. And this is such a beautiful fragrance. I always get compliments from this one. Yeah. I think they did a really good uh, job on making uh, the female version of it. So, uh, yeah. I, I mean, the male version to me is just insane. Yes, the, and, and the this ma is... male version is stronger with you. Yeah. And this is Because It's You. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what's in it. I'm gonna guess that again, it's something, maybe a bit of musk or something, or maybe even something woody at the base, just a slight hint of it. Yeah. And then there's a fruity sweetness to it. Mm, but I'm not sure what kind of fruity sweetness it is. No, I'm gonna check up the notes. So what we have here is raspberry, lemon and neroli. Mm. Then we have some rose, which I know you like. And in the base, you yeah, you were right. Some vanilla, musk, and amberwood. Mm. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, it's hard for me to dislike this one when uh, in it in a way reminds me of the other one. So yeah. they are not the same, but the con the con it consists of sort of the same elements. So you yeah, have the does. sweetness, and it's a fruity touch to it. Yes. Um, but I think this one is. Uh, I think actually both are unisex. You mm. can wear them whether you're a girl or a boy, but I do think this has more fe a feminine touch to it. Mm. This is good. Yeah. And the scent <laughs> of this one is yeah. so sexy. Um, and it, the scent trail is is really, really good. It projects like crazy. Mm. Uh, and actually, it's not even so expensive. Mm. I mean, you can get a quite big bottle. I mean, this is like 100, I think, mm. and I bought it for like $50. Mm. So good that's price. really good. So I always, you don't have to overspray it because it smells amazing, even if you don't, but mm. you can, uh, with good conscience, <laughs> overspray it mm. quite a lot. And it's not one that gets in your face or gets clawing. It's, it's just beautiful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think this is this is probably, this is a tough one. Even though uh, it sort of reminds me of the other one, it's a different scent. Uh, I think that this one works for if you're going out with your girlfriends. It's perfect for a girl's night out. Yeah. Uh, it's perfect if you are deciding to go out clubbing or just having a drink or whatever. So it works pretty much anytime, anywhere. Uh, I think it's... Um, it's a, like a mix of something classy, but also something sexy. It yeah. has that balance. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to give this one 3.75 or maybe even 4. Because you gave the Midnight Romance 3.75 as well. So you think this is as good as Midnight Romance? Didn't I give it like 3.5 to 3.75? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um, hmm. No, I think it's a bit better. Yeah. I'm just a bit uh, sort of uh, maybe okay 3.85 <laughs> if that's okay. Are we going to go like 3.98? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, this is this is really good. And what I enjoy about it is not only is it a good mix of something classy and something sexy, uh, but it's also really versatile. And you are not going to, you no one can be offended by it. No, you're gonna smell amazing to like 99.9% yes. .9 of people. Yes, and as I said, I always get compliments mm. with this one. Always. So that's that's a really good pick if you want a really mass appealing and well made fragrance for a girls' night out. Yeah. 
So now we are checking out Dior Poison mm. Girl EDP. Are this captivating? Good are one. this captivating? Is are they? This captivating. Oh my. I this think it is. this is captivating. <laughs> um, this is insane making. <laughs> so yeah, this is powdery. It's sweet. Mm, but the but the su sweetness in it to me is a bit contained. So to a lot of noses, this is going to be something that is overly sweet. But to my nose, I think it's it's sweet. Yeah. But I don't think it's cloying sweet. No. I, I agree. And I just love that sort of a powdery touch. I also enjoy the flora aspect, uh, even though to my nose the flora aspect is not super intense. No, but I think that the florals is what makes it not too fruity sweet. Mm. Uh, so we, what we have here is um, <clears throat> bitter orange and lemon in the top. Then in the middle we have uh, two kinds of rose. We have orange blossom mm. and then in the base vanilla, almond, tonka bean, to tolu balsam, sandalwood, cashmere and heliotrope. Mm. And that is a really beautiful mix. And this, with this one, we are taking a step away from the two previous ones. So the two yeah. previous ones, to me, <clears throat> are more sort of a balanced and uh, fragrances that I, I believe most people are around you are going to love on you. Yes. But this one is a bit more... I still feel that this is super likable. Yeah. This is a mass appealing one. But this one, since it's so powdery, and a bit more edgy. It has way more attitude. Yes. This is also going to be something that maybe some someone is not going to enjoy on you because maybe they don't enjoy that powdery side, which I know some people don't enjoy. Yeah, maybe. And <clears throat> I think that maybe uh, females may not like this as much as men mm. uh, because when I have this on, the comments I get from men are quite incredible. Mm. Uh, most men just loves this one. Yeah, so um, I think this one is, if I'm going to try to put words to how I experience this one, this one to me is sexier than the other ones. Yes, I agree. This yeah. one screams out, it has something attractive and edgy about it, yeah. which makes me like it even more. And I love it because not only that, but because also I really enjoy powdery sort of fragrances. Yeah. So this one to me is something really sexy, uh, but sexy done in a really good way. It's powdery, it's sweet, and I think this one deserves at least 4.25 or 4.5. Or 4.33 maybe. Or four, four, maybe 4.17. How do you know yeah. it's not 4.22? Uh, 22. Um, no, I think we're leaning 4.25, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think, yeah, this is another uh, banger from Dior. Yeah. I really enjoy this one, can highly recommend it, especially if you want something that I believe a lot of men at least are going to find uh, quite captivating. Now look, I was going to say irresistible, but I said <laughs> captivating just for of you. Of course you did. Uh, so I do know that you also, you said that this is another banger from Dior, mm. uh, but I do know that you also like Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Mm. Which one is the better one? Ooh. Oh no. Don't put me. Yeah, you have <laughs> don't, to choose. Don't, don't corner me like that. <laughs> uh, that's a tough one. I think if I had to choose one of them, I would actually, I would probably, my gut feeling tells me this one. Because okay. this one to me is initially more edgy. But with that said, um, there's something about Miss Dior that just does something to my, me. So it's a tough one. I don't want to have to choose. <laughs> Please okay. don't make me choose. You don't have to. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. Um, so moving on and checking out the next one. Mm. Now we're trying out Diesel Loverdose Red Kiss. Mm. And here you go, and you are actually the one who recommended me this for quite some time ago. Yeah, I believe it was um, when you just started your fragrance journey. Yes. And I think this is a really well-made one. 
but it's quite different from everything else we tried so far. Yeah. But the reason why I recommended it to you in so early in your fragrance journey was because it's not that it, at least it used didn't used to be expensive. No. Um, uh, so it, I wanted to try and give you a lot of different flavors in different price ranges, so you could sort of. Uh, so we could sort of define your journey moving forward. Yeah, and this one was not easy to get. So I remember mm. running around the city trying trying to find this one and they didn't have it anywhere. And then I found it like six months ago on mm -hmm. a sale. Mm -hmm. So finally I got it. Oh, I hope yeah. it's not uh, discontinued or anything. Oh, I don't know. So um, what we have in this one is in the top, sugar, blackcurrant, apple and bergamot. Then in the middle there is cacao pod, hazelnut, orange blossom, apricot, patchouli and amber. Mm. So, I mean quite busy if you look at the notes. Yeah. Um, and I think that pretty much sums up the scent in the sense that to me, it's almost a bit not gourmandy, but it does. It definitely has a sweet side to it. Yes. Uh, and it almost feels. I can't remember if you said that there were any fruity notes, but there is like black a fruity uh, black currant. Yeah. Um, so this to me is sweet, um, <laughs> but it's it's like sweet done in a in a. Even though it's a diesel, and diesel to me are not sort of a super safe scent because no. they are usually going in some direction quite yeah. heavily but uh, even though this is to me like a sweet super sweet blend it's not cloyingly sweet. no no so uh, i really enjoy it mm, but it's interesting that when i smell this one now in terms of just trying to interpret that the quality this one to me feels like a less well blended than the other ones yeah, yeah. Would you agree with me? Yeah, I agree. Um, and I also do have Loverdose, the original. Mm. Uh, and that's quite similar, but with a prominent licorice yeah. note. Um, and that's a whole other kind of fragrance. Yeah. So if I had to choose between those two, I would go with this one mm. any day. Uh, because I think it's, it, it is a really good sweet one, but it is, it is not too sweet. I think... Um... I think this is um, something that if you are looking for something that is sweet that a lot of men at least are going to find attractive on you yeah. uh, that is uh, I think this is in a pretty good price range yeah it is uh, then you this is like one of those fragrances that I think is really good if you just want to expand your already massive collection with something and are curious on it or perfect if you are like starting out your fragrance journey ah. because you can get a sense of s how a sweet fragrance can be without paying a lot of money yes uh, but i do feel that there's a quality difference with this one compared to the other ones that we've tried so far yeah and when this you say quality less, sort of, i guess that you mean like well it's not so well made and well blended like the other ones because yeah. if we're talking about projection and long longevity this is quite good mm. no, i mean uh, the way just the the how how good the ingredient ingredients feel <laughs> the ingredients and uh, <laughs> and uh, captivating is it captivating captivating so uh, how captivating is it uh, on a scale from one to five and also, for example, if we would put, if we would bring in um, one of the um, Maison Christian Dior perfumes in this yeah. list, we would be able to feel that there's a difference in quality. This one to me feels more, it goes more towards those fragrances that are a bit less in quality. It's hard to put words on it, but yeah. it just, you can almost feel, if you have ever tried the difference, you can feel it. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad one. But uh, to me, I really enjoy it. But to me, this is maybe around three or three point fifteen. Yeah, so, that's so fair. it's above average. Yeah. But it's not super super good. Okay. But I also think that this is hard to go wrong with. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so a three point fifteen. Your scale is so weird <laughs> for a lover dose red kiss. Yeah. So, uh, we are now going to smell Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture. Mm. And this is 
one that I love layering with some leather. Hmm. Um, another one that I, that I recommended to you. Yeah. Uh, it's been like months since I put my nose to it, uh, but every time I'm like, wow. <laughs> so there's something. There's definitely the floral aspect. Yeah. There's a sweetness to it, but there's what I really enjoy about this one is that it has some sort of a brightness to it. I don't know which note it is. No. So even though it has a bit of depth, uh, it's not just floral. It's like a bright floral, and I love that sort of a bright side. Yeah, and uh, what we have in the top is wild berries and mandarin orange. Then we have some honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine. Mm. And in the base we have caramel, praline, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. Mm. I'm yeah. going to guess it's the honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine blend that makes it sort of a really yeah. pop. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I actually, I have forgotten about this for quite some time, but it's really good. Oh, oh my. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoy this one. And this is, if I rem <laughs> remember correctly. <laughs> so, for your information, we have a hair, <laughs> hair here on the bottle. I just removed it. Uh, <laughs> this is... Um... <laughs> captivating. <laughs> so captivating. Um, and this is also uh, cheapy. Mm. Uh, it's not super cheap, but I think I paid like 30 or 40 dollars for really? it. Really? Yes. And that is quite cheap. It's not cheap. a big bottle, it's like 30, but it's not expensive for being such a good fragrance. So this to me is a floral with a sweet side. Uh, but the cool thing about this one is that the floral aspect, even though it's dominant, and that's the part that really captivates me, um, grabs my attention. There's something done uh, with the floral aspect that makes it, it's not sharp in any way or anything no. like that. And the sweet side is really in the background, at least to my nose. So the sweet side balances up so it makes it something more than just a floral one, but it never takes over. So the focus, at least to my nose, is on that trio, which is really, yeah. really beautiful. Yeah, I agree. So uh, I think when I think about it now, this is actually quite unique. Yeah, and um, I agree. It's like um, light white floral with a beautiful sweetness to it. Yeah, yeah. Good way to describe it. Uh, don't forget, uh, it's captivating. It's also captivating. Uh, but I really enjoy it, and I think. Oh my! This is. <laughs> this is. This is another one that you that goes so well with how you decide to uh, present yourself. So if you come out with this one on, on your girl's night out, and you put on some really... Um, what is coming now? <laughs> how am I going to say this? And you project, project. Project. <laughs> uh, you exude, if that's a correct word. You really feel sexy. Yeah. And it shows then this is going to amplify how you feel. Uh, and if you are deciding to go out on a girl's night out and you decide to put on something that it looks nice, but maybe not super sexy or anything like that, classy yeah. in a way, then this is going to amplify that as well. Yeah. Either way, you are going to smell fantastic on your girl's night out. But what I'm trying to say is that if you feel super sexy, then this is going to make you look and come across as super sexy. And if you feel like super elegant, you are going yeah. to smell super yeah. elegant. Would you agree with me on that? Yeah, yeah, I really do because agree. Because it is classy, but it's also sexy. And if I wanted to feel extra super sexy, I would put like one or two sprays of um, uh, Aqua de Parma's leather mm, underneath this. Wow. Yes. Wow, have you is, tried it? Yes. Ooh. It's really good. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, this is uh, this is this is so nice. I highly recommend it if you are Did you give it a rating? Did I? No, I didn't. Someone really needs um, to keep <laughs> keep track on us. Now things are going to become really tough because yeah. I gave poison 4.15 or yes. No, 4.25 to 4.5. 
So this ah. one to me is a solid four. Okay, yeah, so um, a solid four for Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture. Yep. Next up is Lalique Soleil. Mm -hmm. And this is... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> this one is better. <laughs> Uh, and this one is one that I actually wore to an after work and it was perfect for that occasion. So this projects really good and smells powerful and sexy according to me. Um, so what do you think about it? Mm, is this the one that I suggested to you or did you buy it on no, your own? No, I actually bought it on my oh, own. Nice. Uh, and the first time or the last time you smelled it you did like it. Uh, so in this one we have bitter almond, mandarin, orange and cardamom. Mm. Then we have some pear, milk, candied almond, caramel, coffee, jasmine, mm. praline, white musk and sandalwood. Yeah, there's something... This one is quite interesting to me because it is really, really good. It's yeah. a well-made one. Uh, there's something attractive about it. And to me, there's definitely like a gourmand aspect to it. Yeah. But mm, it's, I'm not going to say that it's subtle because it's not, but it, it's not loud, loud. There's something a bit uh, sort of uh, restricted about it. So I guess one part of me would have wished that this would be like amped up a bit. Yeah, and make it more sort of a in your face, a bit you more mean, aggressive. Because but, it doesn't have something aggressive in it, mm. but when you spray this on and you kind of overspray, it's mm. strong, even if you don't overspray. But if you overspray this, it's really in people's face in a very good ah. way. Ah, okay. Yeah, and okay. it projects like crazy, and you walk around in this sand cloud that you can feel yourself, and you can just, yeah, mm. it smells good, smells amazing, and people like it. I think it's a fantastic one and I'm curious if you have, because I know, even though I have not tried it, uh, that this is going to be a perfect one for layering. Ah, yeah, I haven't tried layering. So you could layer it with something just yeah. to try and give it that unique edge. Yeah. So please maybe. do layer it and uh, let me know how you find it. Yeah, but and I'm going to surprise you one day and just overspray this one and don't wear anything else. And I think you are uh, <laughs> close, though. <laughs> I know. I realized how that. Yeah, you so gotta have clothes. Yeah, I know you prefer clothes. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no, this one uh, I really enjoy it. I think this is a fantastic one. I, I almost want it myself. Yeah. Uh, because it has that gourmandic kind of feeling. But you cannot. I can, and I, I shall will, I will, <laughs> if I remember it. I really enjoy it. This one makes me th think of um, um, Mugler's uh, Angel Muse. It, yeah. it makes me feel of um, Feb Delicieuse, not because they are similar, because no. they are not, but it gives me that Kurmani vibe that I yeah. love. But this is like a light version. I really enjoy this one. I think I'm going to give it a solid four as well. Whoa, that's good. Yeah, and um, so if I can you agree, enjoy this like is really good. Yeah, and if you enjoy um, the notes that um, she read out, and if you want something that is like a light but beautiful gourmand, um, then yeah. yeah, go for this one. I think this is like this is something that you don't hear that often. I haven't that heard I that don't many hear. people talking about. Ah, no. So no. this one feels like it's Almost way no underrated. Yes, definitely. And this is a really beautiful one. Mm. Moving on to one that I sometimes or often forget to use, but mm. I really love it. And when I smell this on my friend who also has it, I go crazy. It's mm -hmm. so beautiful. It's a Gold Fresh Couture from Moschino. This is cool. Yeah. So what are the notes? I'm curious about that. Yeah. It feels I like there's... I think we have some pear in it. I'm gonna check it up. Once again, it feels like something fruity sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there are pear, mango, white peach, rhubarb leaf, grapefruit, mandarin, orange. Then we have some orchid, jasmine, lily of the valley, vanilla, akigala wood, musk sandalwood and patchouli. So it's mm. like... It's like very fruity, fruity sweet, floral with a woody touch. Yeah. Yeah. And 
the sand trail of this one is just beautiful. Yeah, I like it. This is um, like a fruit fruit cocktail. I think yeah, I don't think the the paper testing strip gives it this one justice. You no. need to uh, over spray it, yeah. I think, uh, to give it uh, that strength, and you um, need a bit of that warmth from your skin yeah. to sort of uh, spice and things yeah. up. But this one is nice. It's and really nice. And one that I actually love layering it with uh, is uh, Bentley for Men. Mm -hmm. uh, if you put Bentley for Men in the base and then you just layer this over it, it becomes so beautiful together. I like it. Mm, but How? to my nose, there's something that mm, doesn't make me love it. So maybe so 3.75. If you smell it there. Mm. Yeah, mm. this is just personal preference. Uh, I can't, I don't know which note it is, but there's something in that sort of a blend that prevents me from giving it a higher rating. But I think 3.75, yeah, it's still fair. a really good one. Yeah. And what I like about this one is that this one is definitely going to make you smell a bit different from everyone else. Yes. This is not something that you commonly pick up, no. pick up when you're out. No. So, uh, but I do feel, do you agree with me? I mean, it feels like you need to overspray this one, but I could be wrong. Uh, Is yeah. it a strong one? Yeah, no, it's not so strong. So I kind of always overspray it. Ah. Uh, but when you have oversprayed it, mm. it, it stays on for quite some time and mm. it projects, projects really good. Mm. Uh, yeah. So another one, I, I, I think that this one is uh, maybe a bit so if Midnight Romance and yeah. which one was the other one after that? Midnight because Romance. It's you? Yeah, those two are way more mass appealing uh, and easily more easily likable than this one, at least to my nose. Ah. So if you are looking for something that most people around you are going to enjoy, then I feel that you can go with those the previous ones more than this one. So this is still very mass appealing. Yes, but and I have heard several saying that they, this really gets them compliments. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I can see why, because I think it's really a perfect fruit cocktail. Mm. So yeah. So 3.75, that's still a good rating. Yeah. yeah. And now I think we are bringing in the sexy. Ooh, yeah, like we have one. Club de Nuit Intense, and mm. this is the one for women. Mm. But I do think you can wear it if you're a man as well. And I'm going to read you the notes. Mm, oh my, oh my, it's so good. <laughs> I think you like it. So full disclosure, uh, I own this one. Uh, I recommended it to you. Yeah. It's so yummy. It's so nice. And this one to me is, it's not a 100% perfect dupe, but it's pretty close to Noir, the Noir from Tom yeah. Ford. And it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So we have rose, saffron, and geranium in the top. Then we have some nutmeg, pepper, violet, caraway, patchouli, vanilla, agarwood, and amber. And mm. when I put this one on, I mm. feel incredibly elegant yeah. and sexy. Yeah. Uh, this is like, also with this one, I forget to use it, but when I put it on, I'm like, wow. Yeah. This is amazing. And actually exactly how I feel. So when I put it on, it also gives me that sort of elegant yeah. and sexy feeling. Uh, and also, uh, it, and it's the same thing with Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. There's something really unique, uh, not only about the scent, but the way it makes you feel. Yeah. Uh, so this, I think, is if you don't have the money to buy the original Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Now this is like a brilliant yes. sort of a clone of it that just yeah. smells amazing. It's so, so good. I need to wear this more often. Yeah. And I do think I'm not so, as you know, I'm not so much into rose uh, mm. notes, but this has the most beautiful, elegant rose I can, have ever smelled. Yeah. So, um, I think this one is quite stunning. I absolutely love it. I love the original as well. And I'm going to give it, oh, this one is so tough, but 4.25 to 4.5. It's and really good. Yeah. I think it's a five. Ah, you yeah, do? Yeah, I think ah, okay. this is pretty perfect. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are free to disagree. 
yeah it it might be flirting with 4.75 but um, so yeah okay let let me adjust that 4.25 <laughs> to 4.75 somewhere after around. some pressure uh, but yeah this one this one is just yeah. so amazing it's amazing and really price worthy yes so for a girls night out i definitely want to smell elegant sexy but i also want to have some edge mm. and when i want some edge i go to oh. tom ford black orchid this yeah. is sexiness elegance class edge attitude just everything you want in a fragrance yeah uh, there's still not nothing on the market like this one uh, wow. this is something that um, it's it's um, it's beautiful but it's edgy at the same time so it has this unique quality that it's both classy yeah. and elegant and timeless but also like not rough around the edges but at least it has this sort of a raw it has this shut up note yeah yeah <laughs> and i just yeah i love it and when i have this on i feel powerful i feel like it smells like home it smells like yeah, this is like personality in a mm. bottle. And I usually, um, I mean, this is something that I recommend to both men and women. Yeah. And I always uh, describe it the same way, regardless if you are a man or a woman, in that this one really will get you noticed, even though it's a bestseller from Tom Ford. Yeah. The weird thing is that I don't pick it up that I'm, often outside no, never. even though it's so unique that i would guarantee i would 100 percent guarantee you'd be able to pick it up yes, if i would feel definitely it. but it's i always describe it as something that is classy elegant yet really sexy and something for someone who wants to feel powerful or give a powerful impression yeah because whenever i those few times that i picked this one up uh when I've been out, uh, it gives me this, I'm like, whoa, it's like a head turner. <laughs> yeah. And it gives me like a lasting, uh, I remember whatever situation that was. So it was, a, let's say it was a, a woman who had it on. I most likely will remember that moment. Yeah. And I've had people tell me the same thing that the few times, this is one that I need to wear more often myself, uh, that I had it on they remember that exact moment yeah. where we was and all that stuff yeah so this one is perfect if you are going on a girls night out huh? because you are going you are not going to smell like everyone else no and people are going to go like whoa whoa who was that <laughs> um but also, I mean, uh, it's also perfect if you are want, just want to leave a lasting impression. So yeah, let's say you want to feel powerful and come across as powerful and smell amazingly powerful yes. in a business meeting. Put this one yeah, on. Perfect. People are not going yeah. to, uh, people are going to remember you. Yes, and this is really a mood, mood fragrance. So if you put this on for a girl's night out, you will definitely feel like the most elegant, sexy and powerful woman in the group and you will smell like it as well. Yeah, it's definitely a mood changer. Yeah. Uh, so this one is an epic one. <sighs> Uh, it's it's a, a, a it's a classic one. It's an iconic one. This one changed so, so much when it comes to perfume. Uh, I love it, and I'm gonna give it a perfect five. Yay. Numero cinco. Yeah, that's a really perfect good though. and perfect rating yeah. for this one. This is almost like a seven out of five. Mm. Yeah. So this is uh, this is something that I guess we could recommend. This is not if you want to if you are looking for something anonymous. Uh, this is no. something you really, when you want to feel powerful, you want to smell sexy, you want to smell elegant, yeah. uh, and you want people to goddamn notice you, <laughs> that's when you put this one on. Yes. So what do you think of Gucci Guilty Absolute Parfum? Ooh. Oh my, mm, this, this is, is so good. <laughs> yeah. This is another one. Sometimes you have fragrances that you... You can just think of them and yeah. you know exactly how they smell. Yeah. Uh, but this is something that, I mean, I recommended this to you the first time you said no. Yeah. And then you ended up buying it, which I'm happy that you did. But this is something that I keep sort of forgetting. I know that it's good. But every time I put, put yeah. my nose to it, I'm just blown away on how amazing it's so it is. so good. This is like beautiful pepper and black currant in... 
the most amazing mix. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Uh, this is this is this is to me is captivating. It is. And for some reason, this is yet another. I'm not sure how they did with the sales on this one. But this is ah. another one that I just wish that more women would have on because it's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's to me, it's something fruity and something sweet. Yeah. So to me, it's fruity, sweet, peppery, mm. uh, and I'm guessing it's because it has pink pepper, mm. some blackberry, and bergamot. Uh, suppressed Bulgarian rose, woody nose, very very Indian patchouli, and amber. Mm. Yeah. So I think, uh, I mean. I do understand why someone would not enjoy this one and that's especially if you don't enjoy sort of fruity sweet fragrances. Um, but this one is so unique. I have not smelled anything like it. No. I love it. I think Gucci uh, the last few years when they changed direction really put out some stellar uh, captivating perfumes. <laughs> uh, and this is another one of those and I am going to give it this one is so tough. but. 4 to 4.25. I think this one lands on like 4.25. Yeah. So it's not a At perfect least. 5, but it's Almost. it's definitely 4 and above. And yeah. it's just so good. Yeah. You are it's going so to good. get noticed with this one. Most people will think that you smell different in a good yes. way. Yes, and you are going to smell elegant and classy and inviting mm. in a great way. Perfect for a girl's night out. Yeah. And now we have another one that I know that you also have in your collection. And this is so sexy on yeah. both men and women. So oh what we God. have is Pure Havan from Mugler. This is such a beautiful tobacco fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Tobaccos uh, and cherries. Yeah. Uh, that's what I, anyway, what I'll pick out. Um, there's something yeah. magical about this blend. And when you were preparing the strips, yeah. spraying the strips about maybe half an hour ago or something. Yeah. Uh, this is the one that just cut through all those different scents and it just honed in on my nose and captivated it. Uh, <laughs> I love Pure Havan and I feel that this is perfectly unisex. Uh, you will, I love the way this one spreads and fills up a room. Yes. It and doesn't the matter. The trail is amazing. Yeah. You can go to, through a whole building just try to find the person wearing this yeah and you will, will find him or her <laughs> yeah you will yeah <laughs> uh this is so good the way it fills up room is amazing the central is amazing yeah. it's uh i would say this is like i'm maybe not super classy to me i get a different vibe from it yeah this is like sexy yeah not dirty but sexy naughty playful ish this is this is sexy as hell yeah <laughs> uh, and it's addictive yeah. It's so addictive. So what we have in the notes are white honey and tobaccos. Mm. Then we have uh, vanilla, cacao and patchouli, some amber, French labdanum and styrax. Mm. Yeah. So um, this one is... Uh, I'm not sure I ever rated this one, which is weird no. yeah. because I love it so much. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's why this is so hard. So this is... If I'm going to rate it by how addicted I am to it, it's yeah. going to be like 4.75 or even a 5. Yeah. This is... This is amazing. Yeah, it is it amazing. Is. I love that it's truly different from everything out there. Yes. Uh, I love tobacco fragrances and this has something that every, all the other ones does not have. No. Uh, I love it. I feel it's so damn sexy. And if you put this one on uh, for your girls' night out, then you are 100% guaranteed going to smell different to everyone else. And yes. you are going to, even though they might not say it or show it, people are going to like look your way yes. and smell your way. Yeah. Uh, this definitely. is so good. Yes. Last one up is one for men, but mm -hmm. I actually love wearing this and I always get compliments mm. from it. Uh, and it's one million privé. Oh, this is tobacco. so beautiful. And this is so sexy on both oh, men and my. women. Yeah. yeah, I remember about... This is another one that I, I gotta use more often. Yeah. But I used it just when sure. I was relaxing at home like three weeks ago or something. And I had forgotten about how beautiful and insanely classy yet se sexy the dry down is. The dry down, 
I mean, you can say what you yeah. want about the opening and all that, but, but the, the dry down is, is magical. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have cinnamon and blood mandarin. Then we have tobacco myrrh. You like myrrh? Yeah. And some tonka bean and patchouli. Mm. And yeah, as you said, the dry down on this one is just crazy. It's so good. Mm. It's both sexy, comfy, inviting, yeah. warm. So to me, yeah. uh, this is something that mixes both the classy mm. vibe with the sexy vibe. And it certainly has something unique about it. To me, yes. that uniqueness is that the tobacco side together with the myrrh and the sweet side of things. Um, yeah. I just love this one. This is actually the first one I bought from Paco Rabanne mm. uh, and I just love it and then I have, uh, have expanded my collection since then mm. but this is still my favorite out of, mm. out of them. Yeah. Um, now from the male side of things for women I feel that this is that this is actually one of my favorite ones for men and also for women. Because yeah. the dry down is just magical. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is so tough. So this, <laughs> I mean, the dry down is definitely like 4.5. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't stop, stop sniffing that dry no. down. It's so it's beautiful. It's so good. So I'm not sure if it's a perfect fire, but it's so good. And if you are a woman and if you are looking for something that is going to make you smell insanely good and different to most other women, uh, then I can highly recommend this one. Yeah. So after some discussions and some um, loud uh, thinking, indecisiveness because yes. I could not choose. Yes, you. I actually asked you to pick out your three favorites, and yeah. that was tough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the top two ones are were not that tough, so I chose Black Orchid. It's so unique. It's so powerful. It's so elegant. It's so classy. It's so sexy. It, this is an iconic one for sure. Yeah. So this is one of my favorites from this one. Yeah. Uh, the next one that I feel is perfect for a girls' night out is Pure Havan. It's so unique. It's so amazing. It's so oh captivating. My, captivating <laughs> times three. Uh, <laughs> but this is where I just could not um, make up your mind. Make up my mind. Yeah. And I'm uh, quite a man that actually knows what I want and all that so. But this one time, so I wanted to put like four fragrances on the third spot. So I wanted to put um, Poison Girl. Yeah. I wanted to put Gucci Guilty Absolute Profemme. I wanted to put um, Paco Rabanne's Privé together with this one uh, on third place. But you actually forced me to yes. make a decision. And I'm giving you one last chance. Do you still want to go no, with the one you choose? I'm going to go with this one. There's something insanely sexy and beautiful about Club de Nuit Intense, i.e. this is a clone of Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. Yeah. This is so good. So yeah, these three are my top ones, but I got to say this though, is that the reason why I had such, such a hard time to pick out something for number three, yeah. and the reason why I wanted to have like four or five fragrances on the number third spot was because you did an excellent job on actually putting together these, this beast mode of a list. I think so too. Uh, a lot of these yeah. fragrances are amazing and you pretty much can't go wrong with any of them. No. You just gotta decide how you wanna smell. Yeah. Uh, but all of these are fantastic. So a really good job on picking out fragrances for a girl's night <laughs> out. And uh, now the only thing missing is that you guys should probably put on one of these and then get together with your favorite girlfriends. And have a lot of fun. Yeah. And one thing missing is your Ooh. like on this video and your subscription to both mine and Rotten Rebels channel. And like this video, hit that the subscription, uh, subscribe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell. Uh, and please do check my channel out if you have the time. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. And thank you so much for watching. Yeah. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh,